other priority interventions to bring down cervix cancer incidence and mortality so that the divide is quickly addressed? The priority interventions for cervix cancer control are human papillomaviral vaccination, screening with visual inspection with acetic acid or um, HPV testing and treating precancerous lesions, and then early diagnosis of invasive cervical cancer and providing them appropriate treatment with uh, surgery or radiation therapy or chemotherapy or the combination of these modalities. It's critical that health systems should have these facilities and these provisions so that both incidence and mortality could be brought down and one can even think of eliminating cervical cancers in many settings in after several decades if these interventions are implemented at right earnest. Do you think breast cancer should be addressed along with cervical cancer and if yes, what are the priority interventions to improve cure rates and the quality of life of breast cancer patients in low and middle income countries? Certainly, I think breast cancer and cervix cancer should be addressed together. Even though cervix cancer is an important health problem, it is declining at a rate of uh, 1 to 3 percent in many settings, but breast cancer rates are increasing by 2 to 3 percent per annum in many of the low and middle income countries. And breast cancer, for breast cancer as well, we have effective interventions, you know, creating breast awareness, encouraging women uh, to seek health services as soon as they suspect something abnormal in their breast, and uh, developing clinical breast examination skills in primary healthcare systems and in hospitals, and in deducing early diagnostic methods using diagnostic imaging like diagnostic ultrasonography, diagnostic uh, mammography, fine needle aspiration cytology, tissue biopsies, you know, leading to early detection of uh, breast cancer in very early stages like stage 1 and 2 via with appropriate treatment involving surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy and hormone therapy by appropriately categorizing the, the biological nature of the disease whether they are expressing estrogen receptors or not. One can achieve very high cure rates. Actually for stage 1 breast cancer one can achieve cure rates exceeding 95% with the currently available modalities of early diagnosis and treatment and these should be implemented in health systems in um, you know along with the cervical cancer prevention interventions. What would be the collateral benefits of interventions which focus on breast cancer and cervix cancer control? Of course cervix and breast cancer are major causes of cancer mortality among women in low and middle income countries but when you introduce interventions for this Essentially, we are talking about improving health systems, you know, the health systems in terms of screening, early diagnosis, treatment, follow-up care. So they have all collateral benefits in the, in the case of management of other cancers. So they will help, uh, you know, such focused intervention uh, for these two cancers will lead to overall improvement in health systems uh, development, health uh, human resources uh, generation and the health system response. So that will overall contribute positively towards cancer control.